Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do Evaluating Algebraic Expressions Part 2. Pero before natin puntaan yung discussion natin, shout out kay Jasmine Kablay at kay Jasmine Cabato, dalawang studyante from Madalinawa National High School. Shout out din kay Sandra Flores. Shout out kay Ma'am Charlotte Gonzalez, a teacher from Cavite. And shout out kay Sir Oliver Ortiz. Meron po siyang YouTube channel. You can visit and search sa YouTube channel na Oliver Ortiz. And let's move on to our discussion. Yung first example natin is that we have 4x plus 2y minus 3z. We will evaluate our expression when your x is equal to 2, your y is equal to 3, and your z is equal to negative 4. Again, in evaluating algebraic expressions, kailangan meron tayong value for a variable. And then, we will substitute those variables sa mismo expression na meron tayo. Katulad ito. Since meron tayo itong 4x, itong x natin can be replaced by 2. So, we will have 4 times 2. Kasi na-replace natin yung x. Plus 2 times the value of your, your y, which is 3. Minus 3 times your z, which is negative 4. And then, you will follow the order of operation. Una muna natin simplify yung parenthesis. We have here 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 3 times 2, which is 6. And then we have here negative 3 times negative 4. That will give you plus 12. And then simplifying 8 plus 6, which is 14, plus 12, that will give you the answer of 26. This is the simplified form or the answer given the expression 4x plus 2y minus 3z if your x is equal to 2, your y is equal to 3, and your z is equal to negative 4. I hope na naintindihan yung first example natin. Now let's move on to item number 2. We have here the expression 2x cubed minus x squared plus y. And yung value ng ating variables, we, we have here x is equal to 3. And the value of your y is equal to negative 2. Ang gagawin ulit natin is we will replace the variables by the given value of each variable. So we have here 2 times yung x natin which is 3. Then raised to 3. Minus 3 raised to 2. Then yung y natin, palitan natin ng minus 2. So simplify muna natin yung ating exponent. We have here 2 at yung 3 cubed natin, you can rewrite it as 3 times 3 times 3. And that will give you the product of 27. So, ganyan yung pagsisimplify ng 3 raised to 3. So, we have here three time, 2 times 27. Minus, yung 3 squared naman natin ay parang 3 times 3 lang. So, that will give you... 9. So you have here minus 9 minus 2. Next natin, simplify natin to. You have here 2 times 50, 27. That will give you 54 minus 9 minus 2. So pag sinubtract natin yan, that will give, ya, give, give us 59 minus 9. That will give you 45 and minus 2. That is 43. So, ang sagot natin dito is 43. So, let's move on to item number 3. So, item number 3 natin, we have xy squared plus y plus xy minus x squared y. Your x is equal to 5 and your y is equal to negative 2. So, meron lang tayong dalawang variables. Yung, five natin is, yung x natin is 5, then your y is negative 2, that is negative 2 raised to 2 plus 5 times negative 2 minus your x which is 5 and then times negative 2. Unahin muna natin yung may mga exponent katulad nito. So that will give us 5 at yung negative 2 squared natin is the same as negative 2 times negative 2. So, pag multiply natin yung parehas ng sign, that will give us a positive answer. So, that is positive 4. Dito naman, 
we have 5 times negative 2. That is a negative answer. So we have negative 10. Tandaan nyo ha, kapag nag-multiply kayo ng dalawang number na may magkaibang sign, automatic, their product is equal to negative. And then, ito namang part na to, minus 5 squared. Yung 5 squared natin, that is equal to 5 times 5, which is 25. So minus 25 times negative 2. Next naman natin is simplify, ay yung may may parenthesis. So this is 5 times 4, 20, minus 10. At ito naman, that will give us plus 50. Kasi parang silang negative. Then minus na natin, 20 minus 10, that is 10, plus 50. That will give us the answer of 60. So yun yung process natin on how to evaluate algebraic expressions given ang specific value ng bawat variable. I hope natutunan nyo yung konsepto ng pag-evaluate ng expression na meron tayo. And kung meron kayong clarification about our solution, pwede kayo mag-comment down below. At, or kung meron man kayong mga requested topic para magawa natin ng tutorial video sa ating channel, pwede rin kayo mag-comment down below. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.